Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we'll talk about menu and menu item. So in this video, we'll talk about few important questions. Why are menu items important in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation user interface? Next, we'll discuss about how can menu item be utilized in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation to enhance user navigation. Then we will talk about what are the types of menu item are available in Visual Studio for Dynamics 365 FNO and how they can be utilized. Next we will move and we will show you how can user extend the navigation pane in finance and operation apps and what benefit does it offer. So without wasting time let's start understanding why are menu items important in Dynamics 365 finance and operation. Menu items in Dynamics 365 finance and operation serve as a buttons uh, with a link to a page. Menu items in Dynamics 365 finance and operation it serves as a button that link to a page or it can be a dialog box, it can be a report or it can be a form okay and they simplify the user interaction by providing a convenient way to navigate through the system without menu item user would need to manually enter web addresses for forms but with menu item user can easily access pages by selecting a button or a link this is particularly useful in the navigation pane of the finance and operation apps where new module or pages can be added and customized to enhance the user interface. Now we'll discuss about how can menu item be utilized in Dynamics 365 financial operation. Now you can see that I am inside my uh, VM. So if you want to see the menu items, then you can uh, you have to expand it. So under the module section, you can see these are all nothing but these are the menu so this this is the account payable menu this is accounts receivable this one the asset learning so if you will click the account payable one you will be able to see there are different types of sections are there so there is a button of collapse all and uh, expand all so if you will click collapse all you will be able to see workspaces are there vendors are there purchase orders are there these are nothing but sub menus okay and under this sub menu if you'll open it so this is nothing but one menu item and these are nothing but the menu item so there we have a module under this module section we have different menus and if you'll click one menu it will open a sub menu and under the sub menu you will get all these types of uh, menu items and we can have three different types of menu item it can be display menu item it can be action menu item it can be output menu item so based on the requirement you have to choose what kind of menu item i need to create and then you have to decide and from the visual studio you can create that particular menu item so in our previous video you have already seen that we have created a menu item display menu item for our form if you want to link a form to a menu item then that menu item should be display menu item we have three different types of menu items so let me go to the visual studio now i can show you the different types of menu item so the menu item that i have created in our previous video that is the display menu item you can see over here okay now if you want to create one another menu item then you have to click on this and you have to go to the user interface and from the user interface you can see that we have a menu we have a, um, a display menu item action menu item and output menu item so these are three menu item that i can utilize so if someone is asking you in the interview that what is menu item and for what the menu item actually used so menu item used in the microsoft dynamics 365 financial operation app user interface to represent the user with a button that will link to a page it can be a dialog box it can be a report it can be a form to perform a task different types of menu items are available in visual studio that i have shown for example display menu item it is used for runnable application object that primarily present forms 
and dialogues to the user. In case of output menu item, this is also a runnable application object whose primary function is to print a result such as a report. Also, we have action menu item. In case of action menu item, it is also a runnable application object whose primary function is to do a job such as creating or updating transaction uh, in the database. So if you don't have any menu item in your system, so what is the process that you can utilize to access a particular form or report? So for that, without a menu item, the user would have to manually type in web address uh, for the form if you have menu items the menu item give the user simpler way to go to the page or the form by selecting a button or a link in this video we have discussed about all these three points now in the next video we'll talk about how you can you know, how can user extend the navigation pane in finance and operation app and what benefit does it offer so we'll talk about this point in our next video See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.